My name is Chesney Matrin. Uh, I run an organisation called Wisdom, and uh, we've just completed a project called Madiba Music, which was inspired by the anniversary of Nelson Mandela becoming the president of South Africa and the official end of apartheid in South Africa. We felt it was important to, you know, honour and celebrate the, the occasion because it was quite a big anniversary. We set about putting together a project working with a local set of African drummers from Everyone's Climbing Tree and working alongside a group of singers from the House Gospel Choir. With this project, us all working together and me bringing the Arts Award element to it as well, where we worked alongside Alexandra Park Library and put this together. And it's been, it's been a very successful project. The actual project itself consisted of four or five weeks of um, rehearsals and, and training and on the official anniversary which was the 10th of May the, the drummers and the singers went down to the Royal Festival Hall and performed in front of the official Nelson Mandela statue and in front of the general public and it went down really well everybody enjoyed it and it was I would consider it being a very successful project. Amazing, guys had a good time. Yeah. 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 yeah, like you don't, you don't get a lot of people who like get the opportunity to sing in Zulu. So it was yeah. absolutely amazing. So thank you to everyone who helped us do it, and it was a vibe, man. It was good. So yeah. Hi, my name is Mpom McKenzie. Um, I have been tutoring some members of the House Gospel Choir on the song Ilang Alishoni. I've been teaching them to learn the lyrics in Zulu, which they've done an amazingly good job at. The song was originally sung by Miriam Makeba, who's a really famous South African singer um, and it's quite traditional in terms of the lyrical content. It's a young woman singing to the men in her village, the young men, and calling them back to bring back her father's cattle. The drummers were led by an African drummer by the name of Halifa. We've been working for a couple of weeks, it's been about two or three weeks, together with the young people from everyone's climbing tree. Um, each week they've been practicing, rehearsing with Halifa Conte yeah. and myself. It's been a journey, it's been interesting, it's been seeing all of them grab the repertoire um, and going towards the South African style of, of drumming. I really enjoyed it, it's very different to what I usually do. I usually, um, I usually play with uh, just by myself on a drum kit, but this was playing all together, uh, like using skills and techniques such as a uh, call and response. Yeah, that's the same for me because when you're playing on your own, you don't have to listen for any other drummers. Whereas in your big group, that like that, it's all interdependent on one another. Moving forward, um, whilst putting this project together, the Royal Festival Hall came to us and invited us to perform at their official Mandela birthday celebrations in, on July the 18th. And also, um, I personally will be doing a fundraiser at the South African High Commission in early July as well, where these young drummers and singers will be coming to perform together again. Um, all the partners involved in this project, Youth Music, um, Arts Council England, Small Green Shoots, Everyone's Climbing Tree, um, the House Gospel Choir, Umpo, uh, UK Overstood. Um, you can find more information about this project on our website which is wisdom.co.uk. Our official Tumblr for this project which is madibamusic.tumblr.com and on our Twitter which is uh, at wisdomuk.